We are in this beautiful, what is this? Toyota. It's a Toyota Camry. Toyota Camry because Mia just got a brand new vehicle. Well, new to her. New to me. Okay, what is this vehicle? What year is it? Uh, 09. 09 Toyota Camry. You know the thing about Toyotas is they just don't quit. They go forever. That's what I've heard. And she's even got this beautiful sunroof. Sarah, you got the sunroof. Sarah's in the back seat filming. You can, well, you can see her in the GoPro. And then we've also got Bree sitting out here in the yard. Do you have, there she is. Uh, but we wanted to ask Mia about her vehicle. Now tell us the road you had to, to navigate to get your own vehicle. Tell us the whole story and don't leave out any details. Okay, so last year I drove to school um, and I had a Nissan Maxima and it was my grandma's old car and it was a 2002, so the car was older than me. And then he passed away and we had to, um, we had to take him and we got him like at one of the places that you get um, cash for the car. So then I drove my mom's car like the whole second semester really. And so then over the summer I'm like, oh my gosh, I want a car. I want a car. And so then finally, what, um, at the beginning, I mean, it was the beginning of the year, really, this school year. And then my mom, uh, our cousin in Jackson, one of their church members was like, I'm not even looking to sell a car, but since you're interested or whatever. So then we drive down to Jackson and we get the car and now I have a car. <laughs> I have a car. Oh, tell the camera back here. How much that did we pay for? I think it was uh, seven thousand. Very solid for for a nice Toyota camera. Okay, now we've got some questions to ask for students who might have a vehicle in the parking lot. How much do you know about maintaining your vehicle? Hmm. Hmm. We're about to find out. Mia, here we go. Paint and appropriate body care will prevent what? Like, what? Doing regular paint maintenance and body care maintenance will prevent what for your from happening to your car? It prevents the weather from messing it up, doesn't it? Yes, any more specifics from that? That's all I got. But it's like, doesn't the paint like crack and stuff? It could rust. That's the the answer we were looking for is rust. Yeah, okay. I wanted more specifics, but always refer to what for specific information on your car? The vehicle, the handbook, <laughs> manual. The owner's manual, which is in her glove compartment. Yay! To restore weathered paint on a car, use what? When your paint starts to like fade and stuff, what can you do to help restore that shine? You better go to the body shop for that. I'm not about to do that myself. You don't have to go to the body shop. You can just do a wax and buff on it, actually. You can do that out in your uh, driveway. Blank is an excellent lubricant for door and trunk locks. WD-40. <laughs> White lithium grease is what we were looking for. Blank is specifically suited for rubber and door weathering stripping. Like if you need to like lubricate the door and the weather stripping on the car doors. WD-40. No. Silicone is what you're looking for. If your tires are bulging on the road surface, what does that mean? It's sum up with your tire pressure or like... You probably need to get some new ones. It could be too much air or there could be damage to your tire if it's bulging. What's the general first step for changing a tire? What are you supposed to do first when you have to change a tire? You need to pull over. You need to pull over on the side of the road. What do you need to do second when you're changing a tire? You get you get a you get a um the the car jack. Is that what you do? Sir? Yep, that's the, that's uh, Sarah's in the back and she's thinking that you have to put it on a jack first. That's actually incorrect. You, you need to get your spare out. 
right? And you need to get the you need to get the spare out. But you gotta take the lug nuts off. Bree is outside of the car and she's actually answered the question. You're supposed to loosen the lug nuts first before you put it up on the jack. I believe the reasoning for that is that sometimes they can lock if you pull it up. It's easier to loosen them when they're still on the ground before you pull the car up uh, on the jack. But that that's that was actually a little bit of a trick question, Sarah. So a whining or squealing noise from your engine is often what? Whining or squealing? Um. She's stalling by asking the question again. Is something going on with your engine? I mean... It means it could be the drive belt. Mia's got a brand new car. She doesn't know a whole lot about the maintenance of the car, although she has learned a little bit of something today. 